Um, I'm here recording, again, right? recording an image of this. I'm, I'm about to say goodbye to this piece, which is exciting, but it's also quite tough. This is my sculpture of Beth Tweddle, and this is actually the piece that Beth owns. So I'm, I'll be up in Liverpool in a couple of days giving it to her, and um, I just wanted to record it before it goes. It's, it's quite difficult when you've got a piece that you're really fond of, and um, you've had it in your house on and off and it's not been exhibited for quite a long time and um, you've grown very fond of it so I'm going to get another one cast to have around but um, it takes a couple of months for that so it's going to be a while this, this piece uh, I first cast off Beth in 2011 I went to her flat up in Liverpool I made a body cast from her and used that I let, um, when I make body casts, they're in two halves. I laid it open, um, so it's made of cross bandage. I laid it open, put clay in it, put it together to make a clay positive of Beth's body, and then I carved into it. And um, each of my Olympians, I asked them what did they perceive to be one of their greatest sporting triumphs so that I could actually base the design on this. And Beth chose her 2009 world gold that she won the O2 to Arena in London. So it's um, got various aspects of London, it's got various things through the O2 and also the best performance. Behind it all, if you look, this section here coming through here and so on, this is the Union flag. Um, some people call it Union Jack. And when I went to visit Beth up in Liverpool, um, I love the fact she was the only member of Team GB that I got to visit in their home. And I love the fact that she had like a union flag do front door mat and mugs and various things around. And it was just, I thought it was really nice. And I, th I was thinking about what a strong design union flag is for sort of like direction towards a focus. So actually based on going to best flat, I then put that on each of my Olympians. So each of them had the union flag as the background behind their design. Um, I've got an image of Beth here swinging through the air, her legs apart, scissor kick. There's um, over here, this is the seating plan for the O2 Arena. Down here is sort of like a stylized image of the O2 Arena. There's Beth doing a splits in midair. Um, this is the map. It's quite famous in Britain because we watch um, a soap opera called EastEnders and it's the East End map um, with the Thames running through it, which is where the O2 Arena is based. And then here we've got the London skyline running through. So there's over here St Paul's Cathedral and running through various big, uh, big um, buildings on the skyline and over here is a very stylized image of the London Eye and then on the back like the with <sighs> with all the other Olympians there's like a stylized musculature into the back um, when when you meet somebody who's incredibly fit and they do extraordinary things with their body you're very aware of their physical form and their structure and I wanted on my sculptures that when you looked at the person, you didn't, you didn't just look at this as a body, but you looked at it as a functioning machine almost. And so I've got elements of these, um, the spine running down through, things that sort of suggest gaps between ribs, the structure of going around and supporting the back of the pelvis and so on. Um, but I'm aware that it's very stylized. It wasn't meant to be anything like real anatomy, but just to present sort of structure and control. I mean, the reason for that as well is because if you flay the skin off somebody, the way that the muscles are knotted layer upon layer upon layer, you would never see anything like this because there are different layers and most of it will be matted over with muscle. Definitely in Beth's case it would anyway. And this piece is made of um, a cold cast brass. 
So it's got the metal in the upper surface, but it's backed up by fiberglass and resin. And the actual casting of it was done by Lorraine at the Creative Art Casting Studio. Um, just lovely. I'm very pleased with it. Anyway, bye.